So, in this project, we're going to show how we can program the ESP01 using the Arduino IDE. We are going to upload the Blink sketch into the ESP01 so that we can replace the firmware that is already into the ESP01 when we bought it. After which, we should be able to see that the LED should be blinking correctly. Okay? So, if you're excited, then let's start exploring. Before we proceed discussing the article, Regarding how to program our ESP01 using the Arduino, let me discuss first a little bit of information about this ESP01 Wi-Fi module. When you buy your ESP01 Wi-Fi module, it comes built in with its own firmware and is able to execute commands that can allow you to connect to your Wi-Fi using what we call as AP commands. You see a lot of programs in the internet that uses those 80 commands, 80 or attention commands to be able to connect through your Wi-Fi and then to your internet endpoint. In our case in here, we are not going to use those 80 commands, but rather we are going to use the firmware that was created by the ESP8266 community for the Arduino. So this is the project that I'm talking about which is found in this GitHub account called in the ESP8266 Arduino endpoint. We're going to use this following project to power our ESP01 and create code in our Arduino and then burn this code into the firmware of the ESP01. In our case here, we need to understand that to be able to burn firmware or upload your code into the ESP01, we need to set the ESP01 into a certain mode called the bootloader mode. So I'll be discussing the following information using this, this circuit diagram. Okay, so I have here the Arduino and these are the connections that you just need to follow. One thing that is important to note here is that you should connect the reset pin of the Arduino to the breadboard ground rail. And then at the same time, the TX of the Arduino should be connected to the TX pin of the ESP01. Same also with the RX and the RX pin. I have placed here the pinout of the ESP01 and then just follow along with the breadboard assignment in here. One thing to note when you are seeing this one is that in the GPIO0, which is in here, there is a switch here that connects directly into the, the ground rail. During the bootloader mode, we need to set the following connection of GPIO0 into the ground mode. The same thing also, we need to set the CHPD into the positive high or connected to the 3.3 volts of the ground rail. Okay? And this momentary switch that we are using in here is only used so that we can reset the ESP01 so that it will be able to function based on the, e the code that we have burned into its firmware. Okay? So if you have just bought for ESP01, then you, what you just need to do is to go to this file, preferences, value, into the additional board manager URL. If there's anything in here that you have put already, then just put a comma in here. Okay? And then at the same time, go to the board and then board manager. And in the board manager, layer, uh, uh, in the board manager, just search for the word ESP8266.
Okay? So in my case here, I have installed it already, so I'm not going to install. And then the last thing that you need to do before you do anything, always set the, the board into a generic ESP8266 module. Okay? After which, just open the Blink sketch by using the pile examples, basics, and then the Blink sketch. And then we are going to upload this sample program into the ESP01 firmware. Take note that upon uploading the Blink sketch, the AT commands will not be functioning anymore. Okay? So, to set it, to check the board, this is the setup that I did by just following the diagram in here. The only change that I am missing here is the SPST switch in here since I currently don't have an existing SPST switch. But as I have mentioned, if you if you will want to burn something into the firmware of the SP01, we need to set the GPIO0 into the ground. Okay? And then after setting this value into the ground, then you can go back into your Arduino IDE. We have set the GPI, GPIO 0 into ground so that we can enter the bootloader mode. After which, just click the, the upload command here. Then it will compile the Blink sketch and then wait for it to upload. Okay? If you see this message, just click the RST button momentary switch here just for about half a second. And then we will be able to see that the Blink sketch is now being written into the firmware of the ESP01. Okay, so let's just wait for the... Okay, so it's now finished. Now, if we want the ESP01 to function correctly... Then, we need to switch this back, the GPIO0, into the non-connection to the ground. Okay? After which, in here, we're going to remove the connection of the GPIO0 into the ground. And then, we will just click the reset button. So that the ESP01 will reset and then run the firmware that we have burned. And it should be able to blink the built-in LED. Okay. As you can see, the built-in LED right now in the ESP01 is blinking. Which means that we, were su we are successful in uploading our sketch into the ESP01. And that's the process that you can do if you want to upload your sketch into the ESP01. One thing to note, this is the manual way of uploading the sketch into the ESP01, but there is a much simpler way which is using the ESP01 programmer. In a separate article, we're going to explore how we can use the ESP01 programmer without using the Arduino anymore. Okay? And that's it. Happy exploring!